The film started when a Korean submarine named Hala is in the depths of the East Ocean of Hiroshima, which is there are several Navy officers guarding their country. The Commander Kong then asks them to gather and take a pictures together, but soon they are suddenly attacked by the enemy's ship, using torpedoes. As a result, their ship fell to the seabed and was not tracked by the center tracker. And then, one year later Commander Khan could survive and still alive, even though he was retired, but he asked to wear his uniform again and attend a press conference. Kong asked by the reporter why he is still alive. While many of his crew died because of the sinking of the Hala ship, he did not answer at all and chose to believe. At that time, he received a call from an unknown person, saying that a bomb had been installed in two different places, in the amusement park and the home of Major Kim, his former subordinate. Then he asked Kong to choose which bomb to detonate first, and because he thought it was just a joke and he hung up the phone. And then what is the man said was true because Major Kim received a package containing a bomb, and at the amusement park a child found a bag with a bomb in it. The bomb will explode if a noise is detected, fortunately the bomb in the park does not have time to explode, but Major Kim and then his wife dies from the noise caused by the kettle heater. Not long after that, Commander Kang's wife, Yu Young, was asked to come to the amusement park, considering that she was a bomb squad, but before that, she took her daughter first. At the same time, that person called Commander Kong again by the phone and going to detonate a bomb in the amusement park, but again he is asked to choose because he also planted a bomb in a football stadium, then the perpetrator is given 60 minutes to find the bomb. At that time he remembered the incident on the ship, where everyone was busy because of the missile targeting their ship, Kong gave a direct order to shoot back the missile but unfortunately the shot missed. The speed of the ship slowed which turned out to be their ship starting to sink, then he ordered the ship to be on the bottom, however if the ship is at low depths, there is a risk of hitting the reef, the only way he can think of now is to dodge, the commander forces the ship to descend, to the lowest point, and when the missile explodes they are saved. But when they are going well, suddenly their ship crashes into a rock. Now Commander Kong has arrived at the stadium he has looked like so panic. He has accidentally bumps into a reporter named Oh. Mr. O then follows Commander Kong after hearing a bomb, the perpetrator says that the bomb will explode if the noise in the stadium reaches 100 decibels. Kong then informed that the bomb was in the VIP room, when reporter O rushes into the middle of the pitch to disrupt the match, everyone is silent by his action, but after that a penalty is awarded which makes the audience crowded. Kong, who was in the VIP room at that time finally found the bomb in the aquarium. The sound of the crowd supporter made the bomb explode in a few seconds. Kong, who saw a child there immediately saved the child. After the incident, the unknown person called Kong again and praised Commander Kang's courage, then. He said that Yu Young was defusing a bomb into the amusement park, the perpetrator also told him that he had planted a bomb in a public swimming pool, here Commander Kong was asked to choose again. To go to an amusement park or to a public swimming pool, in the end he and reporter Oh decided to go to the swimming pool considering that there were many people there. During the trip Kong called the swimming pool attendant to extend the rest period so that the pool would not be a people to swimming. Shortly after arriving there the perpetrator called again and sent a photo of Kang's daughter, who had been kidnapped. Knowing this, he asked reporter Oh to go to the parking place to look for a black car that might be his daughter there. On the other side, Yu Yun was seen wearing full uniform to defuse the bomb, she also found a note on the bomb that was intended for her. Meanwhile Commander Kong saw a float that had been attached with a tool, then he dived towards the tire which was at the bottom of the pool, but at that time the perpetrator called the pool attendant and asked visitors to enter the pool, because of the of the visitors' voices, the remaining time for the bomb was less than one minute, when he saw the bomb it turned out that the perpetrator had posted a photo King's men, on the other side Yu Young will defuse and she must be distracted when a building occupant wants to open a window so the sound it makes the bomb time go faster. Now she only has 30 seconds, Yu Young then pulls the cable and cuts the trigger cable hoping the bomb won't explode. At the same time the commander had surrendered and hugged the bomb to suppress the explosion, but what happened was only a small explosion because the two bombs actually is fake. <laughs> After that the perpetrator called Kong and said that the real bomb was under Yu Young's footrest, and if she left, her daughter would die, and for the last time Yu Young asked her husband to save their child. <laughs> Meanwhile, reporter Oh, who was in the parking lot, found a car with the same characteristics, but when he was about to open it, the back of the car exploded instead. <laughs> then we are shown the perpetrator who turns out to be Commander Kang's former subordinate named Tae Sung. 
Taesung then disguised himself as a doctor to kidnap Young, who was being treated at the hospital. Meanwhile, Ca Young, who was the defense commander, helped find the perpetrator. He learned that Taesung was the perpetrator. He has a medical record of trauma disorder and intends to avenge the death of 22 crew members, including his sister. At the same time Taesung came into Young's room, there, he has immediately killed the policeman who was on guard. After that he took Young out of the hospital, when they met, Cha Young didn't realize it at all, not long after he realized Young was not in the room he realized that the one pushing the wheelchair was Taesung, then he called his man who happened to be with Taesung, but when he was about to catch him he had to be killed. <laughs> Cha Young who knows about that immediately goes after Tae Sung, meanwhile Khan goes to Yun Sip's house, his former employee, and then he asks whether the someone that always come is Tae Sung? Hearing this, he is immediately went upstairs and found an improvised bomb. Tae Sung did that because he wanted revenge on Khan for killing 22 of the ship's crew, and then after that Khan also received a photo of his daughter wearing a vest with a bomb attached, knowing that they immediately scattered looking for Seo Young, at the same time Cha Young reports to the government officials to arrest Commander Kong because if they don't get caught then their secret will be revealed. It is revealed that the torpedo that attacked the Hala ship did not belong to the enemy, but belonged to their country which had an error in the exercise. Reporter Oh found Seo Young sleeping on a carpet wearing a vest with a bomb attached, on the other side Cha Young told Kong that the vest his daughter, Kong, was wearing is connected to another, so that the bomb would not explode they had to bring the two bombs closer for time to stop. At the same time Tae Sung who was in the hotel made an explosion on the street, after that he stood in front of people wearing marine uniforms, those who panicked were told that the entrance has been installed a bomb, and then Commander Khan came and immediately met Tae Sung. Then we are brought to a flashback by showing the situation after Hala's ship hit a reef, at that time people looked weak due to the ship running out of oxygen, while carbon dioxide started to increase, at the same time Commander Khan received a telegram from the center that the torpedo that launched belonged to Korea, but because the torpedo was off the coast of Hiroshima they thought that the torpedo belonged to Japan. In the meeting held, one of them said that if this was a simulation and there was no way anyone could survive, he also asked to keep it secret from the public, which meant that the government would not be held responsible. Meanwhile commotion started to occur between the ship's crew which was divided into two teams, the first team had to be able to get off the ship, while the second team had to stay on board, all this was done to save oxygen on board, the rescue team apparently will come 14 days later forward, hearing this Tae Sung rebelled and did not agree with the decision, but Tae Ryong immediately calmed him down, Kong then made 44 ropes and 22 ropes were long and 22 were short, if anyone got a long rope, they would stay on the ship, while those who get a short rope must get out of the ship or survive. And then he held the rope then all the crew came forward one by one. After everyone took the ropes they finally found out who would stay on the ship, Tae Sung got the short rope and he asked his younger brother to exchange the ropes so he could be safe but his sister refused and chose to die, Tae Sung said that the marines should not kill themselves, everyone who heard it was sad, but they had to do it otherwise they would all die in vain, considered to have caused trouble. Khan ordered them to lock up Tae Sung. Back to the present where Cha Young and his men came to the hotel, but suddenly the bombs around the hotel exploded, it turned out that the vest wearing by Taeyang connected to the bomb placed on the commander's wife and Kang's children, now he only has three minutes to save one of them, and that's his form of revenge all along. When Taesung are going to kill him, suddenly Cha Young came and shot him and died, after that Khan took Taesung's vest and immediately looked for his wife who stay in the car, after they met, suddenly the bomb stopped P, but the bomb attached to their daughter was still burning and they quickly saved their daughter. There were only a few seconds left and the bomb finally stopped so they were all safe. After that incident Commander Kong held a press conference he said that he had caused 22 crew members to die because of the decisions he made. Besides the torpedoes that chasing their ship is owned by Korea, here he will take responsibility and apologize to the victim's family. Then we were shown again when on the ship Lieutenant Wong who had just become a father he was asked by the commander not to pull the wrong rope, but he deliberately took the wrong rope and said if the commander must stay alive, he and the 21 crew members paid their respects for the last time, Kong had to endure the loss of 22 crew members. And thinks he visited the graves of the crew members who died, then he was visited by the crew members who survived at that time. <laughs>